Hey guys, how you doing? We just did a live on Periscope and the topic was um, understanding compensation plans. So if you're launching a business and you're about to do it with a home-based model, we had a, a live Periscope feed, but it, it cut out short. The phone got too hot because I'm uh, pulled over in between appointments to bring this to you. So if you're watching this, hopefully this will give you a recap. I wanted to give it to you real quick in about uh, around five, five, six minutes or so if we can keep it to that. So if you're choosing a compensation plan or to start a company from home or a web-based company, you're buying into a system and then they compensate you by building a business in a certain way. So this video, I just wanted to go over the math behind how you get compensated because the worst thing is you're a great person, you're talented, you go commit a lot of time, a lot of sacrifice, you put years into something and then at the end of the day, if you don't understand the math, and you did all the work and you got the results, but you're not getting paid the money, it's because the compensation plan uh, is, is the issue, it's not you. So rather than take uh, the excitement of owning a business or being an entrepreneur and just kind of blindly going about, I want you to understand how important it is to pick the right compensation plan. So I'm a shop.com owner, um, but that doesn't mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that's for you, I'm just saying I chose that for a very specific reason. So let me just cover the math of what a traditional home-based business or MLM looks like compared to what I decided to go to, and, and you'll start seeing why I came uh, into the conclusion of actually starting this myself. But bottom line is do your research. Understand the math, what's profitable, so that when you finally do the work and you get to enjoy your success, um, the money's there that you expected from all your hard work. So uh, I'm gonna reference uh, uh, MLMs, traditional MLMs, and MLMs are uh, multi-level marketing companies. So I just drew out a few different examples real quick so I could show you here on uh, Periscope. It means that you build a sales structure that is built horizontally and then it's built in depth, okay? And multi-level means you get paid a percentage per level. It usually is like 7% of the sales of these people you get down to four, three, one, and then zero. Some compensation plans reverse that or they go down seven levels or four levels. What I did is I took the averages that they pay high on four levels and then the average, when you take all the levels together and average them out, it's about a 5% average payout of all the different levels. Most need to go at least four wide for it to be somewhat profitable, but many go to 12 to 15 or greater. Okay, I won't discuss that in this video of of the structure and how it's laid out, but let's just use stick to math, okay? And to make to make real good money in a MLM structure, usually they call them managers or they even have weird, you know, triple diamonds or things like that. It means that you're you're producing either in your own purchasing or sales or a combo of both about five thousand in volume monthly. That's usually what they have to maintain in order for you to get paid out on enough levels. Uh, for you for it to be worth your while okay so I'm just taking a, a small example let's just take now there would be thousands of people in your group at this point but let's just take that you have a few key people doing a few things in each level for it to work out to the averages that you want so I'm just assuming that you're doing 5,000 in volume let's say that's roughly six thousand dollars then you have a line of four doing the same four people in that first line, a second line doing the same, a third and a fourth. Okay, so everyone is doing that same volume that you're doing, four across and four down. Okay, so that's 80,000 in volume that your team's producing, not including your own, and you're gonna get about 5% of that volume. So this is very easy. If you take 5% of this 5,000, it's gonna be $250, and you have four across, so that's $1,000 you'll get paid on having this line, and you have three more lines, so that's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and traditionally they average and pay you about 10% of your own volume, so that's another $500. So having thousands of people, four lines across, four deep, and at least you have these main big builders in place doing this volume personally, you're gonna be averaging about $4,000 plus your 10%, $4,500 ongoing, uh, a month as long as you maintain that sales volume, that the 5,000 volume, plus all these people maintain that for you to get a payout of 4,500 every month, okay? So I'm not saying this is bad, I'm just saying it's an awful lot of people, an awful lot of volume, an awful lot of work to get paid that payout at the end of the day, all right? So when I compared, now I've done this with a lot of models, specific companies, but this gives you an average of what all of them they're pretty much very similar. They flip it upside down, they, they squish it, they, they, they hybrid it, um, but this is, this is pretty much the averages that you can expect, okay?
Now, what I did when I launched my shop.com business through Market America, this is a big reason why I did it. So I'm just gonna talk about math alone, not the other things that are involved in this versus the other one as well. But let's just take the same structure is that we don't need four lines of distribution, we need two lines. So I took away half the organization and I put two leaders doing the 5,000 in volume, okay? And then we did that four lines down. So instead of four lines across, we now only have two lines, four levels deep, and there's no levels because you get 100% payout of all this volume versus the other one where you don't have that. Okay, so let's just look at the total volume now. It is 40,000 volume points, okay, from sales. So let's say that's $50,000. So half of what you needed with the other one, you get paid up to $3,600 a week on the 10,000 volume points. So t uh, 36 times four down, that's over $14,000 that you can earn per month on half the organization. So three times the payout of a traditional MLM business and you look at these side by side I understand this is on a notebook but what do you want to manage and what do you want to create do you want to create this and then manage this for 45 or do you want to create something half the size mathematically speaking and get paid three times the payout and by the way that's just one you can have more than one of these if you manage three of these okay it would be four lines of distribution having three businesses and you would get paid a quarter, or, sorry, a half a million dollars, 525,000 approximate, having three of these with four lines of distribution. So do the math. I'm not saying take my word for it. I'm saying take, take an MLM structure and draw it out, okay? And then do, take another model and draw it out and do as many of those as you can until you find the one that mathematically speaking goes, hey, this is the most profitable for, for uh a least amount of effort, least amount of people, least amount of customers. So here's the last thing I would say. Once you figure the structure out, how much you need to, to be doing to earn the money you want, that's what I would say is break down what your organization needs to look like for you to earn the money you want to make. So I took a shop.com example without a single customer just using their shopping annuity. And what that really is, if you don't know, is taking what you spend and transferring it to online, so buy at the same stores you buy at, but do it through shopping uh, shop.com, having a shopping annuity, you get paid for it. You not only get paid on what you do, but what your entire organization does, what all your customers do, okay? And then you could switch from brand A to brand B and earn even more money. So this is prior to a customer. So let's say I'm a brand new business owner. I just said, how many people and locations do I need doing the shopping annuity for me to earn the money I want. So here's a, a, a great example. The average unfranchised owner, someone who owns this business through the shopping annuity can take about uh, uh, 500 BV of what they spend every month and transfer it over to their business and get paid on that. So this doesn't require any money, it's just moving money. And then for all the things they buy in stores, they transfer that over and that's another 100 to 200 in IBV. So you can take, how many people do you need just transferring money over on the left and right in order to make a certain amount of money that you want? So here's a great example. I wanna pay for my mortgage. I wanna pay for whatever it is. In order to make 15 to $2,100, you would need 10 owners on the left and 10 on the right, okay? Of which two of them you had to have personally found and worked with, and maybe the other uh, 18 total, all right, came from their networks, okay? So you have to personally uh, work with someone on this side and this side, and the rest can come from expanding distribution. But 10 on the left and 10 on the right, 15 to $2,100 of ongoing cash flow. 20 on the left and 20 on the right is 3,000 to $4,500 per month ongoing cash flow. If you wanted to max one of these out at $3,600 per week, 40 on the left, 40 on the right, and that's a two to three year plan. That is over time, find the right people, make them profitable, work with them, and then once you have leadership, this is sustainable. Enough money earners and you're earning money is ongoing income. That's what real residual income is. So do the math, how many people needing to do certain amount of activities to earn what you expect. Now, I didn't include a single customer yet. I did on what just transferring their spending through owning a shop annuity can do and how little you need to earn that type of ongoing cash flow. Imagine adding retail profit and customers on top of that. That makes this even more powerful. So I just wanted to show that breakdown. I hope this makes sense. I hope you do the research. Don't, don't bank on the hype or the excitement of it all. 
do the research first and it starts with the foundation is understanding the math of your compensation plan. I wish you the best. Take care.